Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I vlog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me. We are in the Bay Area. I commuted up today. Um, I spent the morning in Arizona and then commuted up to uh, pick up something tomorrow. I have not picked up anything yet. There's nothing on my schedule, um, but I'm just waiting to see if anything good comes up. So cross your fingers for me. We're going to see what we can find. I am just enjoying my afternoon here in the bay. I am cooking some dinner right now. Gonna pack out my suitcase and keep refreshing our trade board. Hello everyone! Okay, we are in the employee lot. It is obviously the next day and we obviously have picked up a trip. Um, but I am so excited, you guys. I am so, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe I got this trip. I will tell you about it. So I passed up tons of trips. There were like Taipei's in there. There was a Shanghai. There was a Frankfurt. There were like for London's and I was like no you know like I just have a feeling I'm waiting for something else and so it's like 11 p.m. and I see this trip that pops in there it's a four-day it's the four-day Tahiti which is a very senior trip I've done the three-day Tahiti a couple times I've logged those I'll put them up here um, but the four-day is pretty senior because it's a 48 hour layover and it's basically a paid vacation in Tahiti. So I was like, ah, I really should pick this up because it's really senior and pretty rare. I don't really see it in open time ever or ads ever, but it wasn't productive. You know, it's only, it's like 19 hours for a four day. Um, so I was like, I don't know. And then I looked at the crew and I saw that my best friend in San Francisco, I worked a couple trips with him. I absolutely, I love him, he is so great. He was working the person position. When I saw his name on there, I grabbed it so fast. I grabbed it so, so fast because obviously I wanted to work with him. Um, I am so excited. I texted him, I was like, are you awake? Cause it was 11 PM and he was like, yes. And I called him and I was like, go check your schedule right now. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna go meet him in the airport right now. I cannot wait to see him. I haven't seen him forever, so. We're so excited. Not only are we going to Tahiti on a basically paid vacation, we are working with one of our very best flight attendant friends and I cannot wait. So um, we're working the 787 Dreamliner. It is our smaller Dreamliner and it's a cute little plane. We're not full in the back. In fact, I think we're pretty darn empty in the back. I am working in the back. I am meal car aisle. I sit in the back. My responsibilities are basically passing out meals for economy. Love this position, love this plane. I cannot wait. Um, it's time to head into the airport. I will talk to you guys later. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in SFO. Hi everyone, we have made it to Tahiti. The flight here was wonderful. It was honestly so easy. It went by so fast. Um, we were super light in the back. We really had very, very few people. So um, yeah, it just, everyone had a lot of room to spread out. Everyone was really, really happy. Um, my crew is amazing. They are really hard workers, really, really nice. So it's been such a good flight. It was such a good flight and it's been a good trip so far. Um, it's been so fun to work with my friend too. I love working with friends. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Working, it's the crew, not the destination. And working with friends honestly makes it feel like not really work. But we've made it here. It is so hot and it is so humid. Um, it is 82 degrees, but the humidity is probably like super, super high. It's crazy humid. Um, the last time I was here, it was um, like wet season, but it was definitely not this hot and humid. 
but it is amazing to be here. I am so excited to spend the next few days here. Um, yeah, and I'm just really happy. My room, um, I've done a couple room tours, but I'll do a really quick one just in case you haven't seen those. And then I'm going to get changed and probably meet up with my friend just to hang out. Okay, so when you enter, we have this bathroom right here. Closet, we love robe and slippers. And it's really nice. Let's see. I like the shower too. Good amount of counter space. They also give you this um, soap that's made in Tahiti, which is cool. And then, this is the room, pretty simple, but I love all these fun island detailings. And then I have a balcony, I'll show you it tomorrow. I don't think we can see anything because it's nighttime. So it is 7.32 p.m. here in Tahiti. We are three hours behind California time, so it's 10.30 p.m. in California. I'm honestly not tired at all. Um, I don't really know why. I didn't really sleep during crew rest, but I feel very energized still. So we're gonna have fun. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of this trip. Um, it is our full day in Tahiti. I am so, so, so excited. Um, I am going right now over to my friend's room to get some coffee. He brought his own coffee and he's pretty into coffee, so I'm excited. And then we have a really fun day planned. We are taking a taxi to um, like downtown Papiete, and then from there we're gonna walk around a little and then take a ferry to Morea, which is another island um, about a 45 minute ferry ride away from Tahiti. Um, I'm so excited. Our plan is to go jet skiing and we get to swim with sharks and rays. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know how much I can film because we'll be like in the water, but I'll definitely try to get some content for you. I cannot wait. We met up in the lobby and got a taxi to take us to downtown Papillete and we took a ferry from there to Morea. The ferry ride was really nice. It was about 40 minutes and it went by pretty fast and one of our crew members and his fiance were renting a car so we went to the car rental place with them. This was a cute cat we saw at the car rental place and we drove over around the island to a little beach. We just kind of stopped wherever and we ended up stopping at this really beautiful beach. So we just got in the water, hung out, and talked there for a while. The beach was absolutely gorgeous. I think that, like, the, it was just picture perfect. It was beautiful. I was so happy. Then we got back into the car, and we drove around until um, we found this little, like, town with some shops that we wanted to stop in. Um, we ended up buying some hats because we needed sun protection. This is Mason and myself modeling our new hats that we bought. Then we got acai bowls at this little roadside stand. It was literally just this guy with his refrigerator, cutting board, and blender. But the acai bowls were really good. Then our friends drove us to um, the beach where we were going to be having our jet ski tour. And they dropped us off there, and then they did their own thing. It was finally time for our jet ski tour. It was so beautiful. Um, we spent three hours riding around Morea and we took different stops. Our tour guide told us about the island. The best stop was definitely being able to swim with the sharks and the stingrays. It was a little bit scary, but honestly, it was so cool. The water was so clear. We were able to touch the stingrays, not the sharks, and there were a lot of fish too. We also were able to see some sea turtles. I don't think I got any of the sea turtles on camera, but it was such a cool experience and the jet skis went pretty fast at first it was a little scary but it was so much fun and i am so 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 glad we did oh, this hi. <laughs> then our jet ski tour was over our tour guide gave us some juice as a little refresher after and then we rode back they drove us back to the port where we had literally just missed the ferry going back so we had to wait for a little bit but we just spent the time we walked to a grocery store and we walked around a little bit and then just hung out by the port until it was finally time to go back to Papillete. So we took the ferry ride back to Papillete. 
We made our way back to our hotel. We ordered a salad for dinner, and he brought some instant soup from home, and we ate that while watching a movie, and then we went to bed. Hi everyone, um, it's 9.20 p.m. back in my room today. It was incredible. I'm not really sure how much footage I really got. Um, I think I got parts of the day, but basically um, we had such an amazing day. I I couldn't have asked for a better day, truly. And we booked an excursion um, to go jet skiing around the island um, called the Discovery Tour. And I will put the um, company that we went with down here. Would totally, totally suggest them if you are planning a visit to Morea. It was so much fun. Our tour guide's name was Teeny. He was wonderful. Um, he took really good care of us and I, had such a good time like it was incredible we rode jet skis around the island and he like our tour guide told us a little bit more about the island we got to see different sites different parts of it i truly it was another one of those experiences where i was like i cannot believe this is my life i am so 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 lucky that i work a job that brings me to these places and it's just things like i never thought i'd be able to do and it is so wonderful i'm so so grateful um i love i love being out in the water i love the ocean and it was probably some of the most beautiful water i've ever been in I'm so thankful. Um, but that's it for now. I'm so tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we are um, probably gonna do just a chill day around the hotel. Um, today was our adventure day. Tomorrow will be our relaxing day. We have most of the day tomorrow. Our pickup's not until 8 p.m. So we'll see, we'll see what we get into. But for now, it is bedtime. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It is day three of this trip. It is 8.30 a.m. I slept pretty well. I slept in. Um, we do work a red eye tonight, so I will also try to get in a nap um, in the afternoon, but I'm not a great napper. So my theory is just like sleep when you can. You never know when your body will let you or not. So I definitely tried to sleep as much as I could this morning, um, but I'm going to head down to the gym, um, get in a quick workout, get in some movement for my body. Um, the rest of the day, I'll probably take it pretty chill. I want to walk to the grocery store, get some food, um, pick up some groceries, and then um, we'll probably just relax, walk around the hotel, lay by the pool, stuff like that. But yeah, that is it for now. Let's go work out. It is so hot and humid here. It is like, I feel like my body immediately starts sweating when I walk outside. Okay, um, got back from the gym, the workout was good, just did some cardio and a little legs, a little back, uh, but now I'm going to walk to the store, it's so hot, so, and it's only 9.45am, and it's so hot, so we're going to do our walk to the store and then come back. Hi everyone, so back from the grocery store um, and it was a really good walk over there. I went with my friends and then we just hung out for a little bit after. Um, I will show you a few things that I got. It was so funny because a couple of vlogs ago in my Sydney vlog, I made a comment saying that my husband doesn't like my grocery hauls and he skips through them. And a lot of you guys did say you enjoyed them, so I'm gonna keep doing them. I know a couple of people said it wasn't their thing, so you can feel free to skip through this if it's not your thing, but for the people who are my people who like grocery hauls, because I love them, especially in other countries. I love grocery hauls, so these are for you guys. <laughs> so um, I just got a few things um, for right now, or for right now and for the plane. I got some pineapple. Um, we learned from our tour guide yesterday that pineapple is really local here. There's a lot of pineapple plantations and these are different than the ones um, in Hawaii. They are like a lot smaller. I think I showed um, a clip yesterday of the pineapples. They're a lot smaller and they're really good. I do think I had it last time and it was really good. So I'm going to eat this 
um, probably on the plane. And then I got this dragon fruit and my friend and I already ate some of it. Um, but this was really good dragon fruit. It was really sweet for dragon fruit. Really, really good. Then I got this baguette for now. I'm going to eat this with some of this borsin cheese i love borsin um but for this baguette the baguettes are like super inexpensive here and they're really good so it's like one of the most inexpensive things to eat here because tahiti is expensive so i got that to eat now and um i oh i also got these macarons i've gotten these before they're so good they're seriously like just like in paris they're delicious um and then i got like a quiche to eat on the plane ride home but um that is in the fridge and it's packaged up so i'm not going to show you that but it's like a spinach cheese quiche for the way back home and that is it i'm going to eat some food and just relax for a bit Hello everyone, it's 7 p.m. Just got out of bed, um, took a little bit of a nap, and then just kind of relaxed for a bit. Um, wasn't able to sleep too much, but I'm glad I did get a little nap in. Um, my pickup's at 8 p.m., so let's get ready to go. Okay, it is about 12 minutes until my pickup time, so I'm going to head to the lobby, finishing up my Celsius right now. Um, it was such a good layover. Like, the jet skiing, so fun. The stingrays and sharks, absolutely incredible. Like, I just can't believe I got to do all of that this layover and then also have such a chill, relaxing day today. I feel so, so, so lucky. And then being able to do it with a friend, like, this is seriously like what I have dreamed of doing like my whole entire career as a flight attendant, like being able to do these cool international layovers with friends. Like, I don't think it gets better than that. Um, but alas, it is time to leave. Uh, we are working one flight back from Papiete back to SFO. We get back in around, I think 8.30 a.m. And I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna commute home yet or if I'm gonna pick up another trip, I can't decide. We'll see how I feel when we get back. But uh, we are not full uh, in the back. I think we have a good amount of open seats, which will be nice. And then we will also, uh, most people will be sleeping because it is a red eye. And yeah, we're back on the Dreamliner and it should be a good flight. I will talk to you guys later. And just like that, we are back in San Francisco. The flight back was great. It went by really quickly. It was seven hours and 29 minutes, and it was just a really fast, good flight. It was a true red eye, so everybody really slept most of the time, and it was pretty quiet and easy. And now we are back. I am so tired. I just feel like the jet lag and the lack of sleep catching up to me. It is, um, what time is it? 9.42 a.m. Just got back to the um, house I stay in in the Bay Area. Um, I did decide to stay here and pick up another trip. It is Wednesday, so I do try to work during the week if possible so I can have the weekends off. So I thought it was probably a wise idea to try to pick up one more trip before going back and commuting back home. But that is it for now. I'm going to close out this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a dream of a layover. It was amazing. I can't believe I got to do the things I got to do and with a friend. Um, but if you have not already, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is dear underscore Michelle. I will link it down below. I will also write out my handle right here. Follow me if you would like. I do post more up to date um, about my trips. So you get like the real life updates of where I am. And also, um, subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. I do try to reply to all of them. So uh, I would love to say hi to you. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I am so appreciative. I will see you in my next video.